It was the biggest crowd we've ever seen at any General Assembly meeting of cane farmers. There was only one item on the agenda, the proposed agreement between ASRBSI and the BSCFA. The association has, in the past weeks, splintered into two distinct and warring groups. One group wants the agreement signed, and the other wants to go back to the table to negotiate a better deal. The decision, one way or the other, would be made on this day, so tensions and emotions were running high. That was obvious early on when farmers requested that attorney Audrey Matura Shepard be allowed to make a presentation, and the chairman of the BSCFA tried to object. And that is how it would continue throughout the day, with police keeping a very close eye on the proceedings. The agreement was ventilated in detail by BSCFA attorney Chris Coy, who broke down the three main points of the final draft. And after a prolonged question and answer session, attorney Audrey Matura Shepard was allowed to address cane farmers. I outlined to them the legal options they have based on the law, which is what he is relying on. And they're going to ask that a resolution be passed that the, the assembly accept to join in the case with him to bring the matter before the court. Basically what I explained to them, what I have been saying all along in different interviews, is that there is a provision in the law where the Sugar Industry Control Board as an autonomous body that can sue and be sued in its own name has to set a date. It's not optional. They have to set the date. And the law also says that the manufacturer has to accept deliveries. And so I'm telling them while there are these legal options, they also have to be prepared to deal with the fact that some people will not want to obey it and that there are mechanisms in law how to get people to enforce an order. And that the truth is that in light of everything that's going on, the best thing is to do is to resolve the, the problem peacefully and to let them know that there are provisions of law that they can rely on. Matura Shepard says that while the end decision will be made by farmers, she had to at least do her part because they are being victimized by other stakeholders with an agenda which does not contemplate a better future or benefits for those farmers. It's the um, ASR and BSI. It is the Sugar Industry Board that does not want to comply with its demands under the law. And it's the government that have teamed up against the cane farmers. So clearly this will not be an easy walk in the park. But all I can tell them, these are legal options, and I cannot give them in a flask a thing called courage and the will to fight. They have to decide. If they decide they want to sign the agreement today, I am fine with that. It was crystal clear from early on that the tide had turned against ASR BSI and against those in the association who advocated for the signing of the agreement. And so it was that at 2 o'clock, farmers overwhelmingly rejected signing on to the agreement with the factory. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, señores. I think that we started a round of meetings from since last week where Ms. Audrey Matura went around explaining to the farmers in regards to what their, uh, their legal um, um, points can be used in favor of the farmers and we will continue with that going around with the farmers and from, from here after I think that we need to to switch a little bit different on, on how we are being approaching the farmers in regards to passing information to them. I think we need to go a little bit more in depth in, in um, passing information to the farmers so that they can have uh, more knowledge and more um, soon um, on what is transpiring. But we'll be holding hands with Ms. Matura so that she can go around with us um, explaining to the farmers the legal term and what the implications are. Holding hands with Audrey Matura Shepard means that the BSCFA will be going the legal route. That generally means a long drawn out process which can drag out indefinitely. And realistically speaking, time is something that neither the cane farmers nor the factory can afford to waste. If BSI is serious and if the SICB is serious, I don't think that we have to wait anything for the court. I think that we can sit down around the table, um, put together a day to start the crop, start the crop and let us continue negotiation. But the negotiation should be looking forward into terms that will be beneficial to the farmers, not only to one side, but to both sides. Um, I think that the last meeting, um, as, Ms. Ma as Ms. Matura has said, I think that the farmers were really in a, in a sign of duress and at that moment they were not thinking too much on what was really happening or what the situation would have been in regards to accepting this agreement as is. I think that now they have um, at least
Israelis and they have understand more in depth what the situation would be and what the impact, the negative impact would be against them. So I think that today they came with a more um, settled mind and having a better more of knowledge on what this is all about. And I think that based on that, they took their decision today. So with all that said and done, all eyes will be on the SICB, which has maintained that it cannot force the farmers to deliver cane. And even if they do, cannot force the factory to mill it. Really, at this point, everything in the industry hinges on what the SICB does next. Maybe that will be an, another legal dispute, but I'm telling you, if you read this section of the law, it says the manufacturer shall accept deliveries of sugarcane. Shall in law means mandatory. It must. That is when the SICB, we will see what kind of gumption and what kind of of legal standing they have to make sure that an order that they give is obeyed by an entity which is not above the law. Are you satisfied with what has happened here today that the farmers do understand the agreement now, even if they didn't before? Well, before I spoke, i glad that Mr. Chris Coy spoke, explained a lot to them and was also able to tell them what his professional opinion was and what his instructions was. Really, right here, yeah, as you notice, I removed myself and my assembly because I think it's their decision. It's not mine. I gave my information, I did what I had to do, and let them decide. According to Ortega, a letter will be sent immediately to the SICB challenging them to act under threat of legal action. Mike Rodon for